Now, let's study about the biochemical substances produced in the plants. Let's quickly sum up. Biochemical substances produced in plants are broadly distinguished into two types. One is primary metabolites and other is secondary metabolites. Primary metabolites are carbohydrates, proteins and fats. Secondary metabolites are the substances which are not much required for normal growth and development. Example, alkaloids, tannins, resins, gums and latex etc. Now let us see what are the other secondary metabolites that are produced in the plants and useful for mankind. In the last session, we have studied about alkaloids. Now let us see tannins. Tannins are carbon compounds stored in different parts of the plants. Widely used in tanning of leather and medicines. Example, acacia and cassia. Resins. These are stored in resin passages in gymnosperms. Widely used in varnishes. Example, pinus. Gums. These are sticky substances that oozes out are the cut branches of some of the trees. Example, neem, acacia, etc. Widely used to in adhesives and binding agents. The next one is latex. These are sticky milky white substances stored in latex cells or latex vessels. In some of the plants, example, rubber plant called as Cavia brasiliensis. The latex from Jetropa plant is used to produce biodiesel. Now, it's an amazing fact to know that which part of the Jetropa plant is used to produce biodiesel. It is the seeds. Chewing gum is also a plant that gets that now let's know some facts chewing gum is a type of gum for chewing made dates back 5000 years modern chewing gum is originally made of chiclet natural latex from plants name the plant which causes skin allergy and asthma It is Parthenium. The Parthenium plant causes allergens, skin allergy and asthma.